Allium tuberosum, garlic chives, oriental garlic, Asian chives, Chinese chives, Chinese leek is a species of onion native to southwestern parts of the Chinese province of Shaanxi and cultivated and naturalized elsewhere in Asia and around the world. Topic: <laughs> Description Allium tuberosum is a perennial plant growing from a small, elongated bulb about 10 mm, 13 30 seconds inch, across, tough and fibrous, originating from a stout rhizome. It has a distinctive growth habit with strap-shaped leaves 1.5 to 8 mm in wide, unlike either onion or garlic. It produces many white flowers in a round cluster on stalks 25 to 60 cm tall. It grows in slowly expanding perennial clumps, but also readily sprouts from seed. In warmer areas USDA zone 8 and warmer, garlic chives may remain green all year round. In cold areas USDA zones 7 to 4B, leaves and stalks completely die back to the ground, and resprout from roots or rhizomes in the spring, the flavor is more like garlic than chives. Taxonomy. <laughs> <laughs> Originally described by Johann Peter Rottler, the species name was validly published by Kurt Polycarp Joachim Sprengel in 1825. A. Tuberosum is classified within Allium in subgenus Butomissa Solus B. N. Friesen, section Butomissa Solus B. Camelin, a group consisting of only A. Tuberosum and A. Ramosum L., which have been variously regarded as either one or two genetic entities. Distribution and habitat A. Tuberosum originated in the Siberian Mongolian North Chinese steppes, but is widely cultivated and naturalized. It has been reported as growing wild in scattered locations in the United States Illinois, Michigan, Ohio, Nebraska, Alabama, Iowa, Arkansas, and Wisconsin. However, it is believed to be more widespread in North America because of the availability of seeds and seedlings of this species as an exotic herb and because of its high aggressiveness. This species is also widespread across much of mainland Europe and invasive in other areas of the world. <laughs> Ecology A late summer to autumn blooming plant, A. tuberosum is one of several allium species known as wild onion and or wild garlic that, in various parts of the world, such as Australia, are listed as noxious weeds or as invasive, serious high-impact environmental and or agricultural weeds that spread rapidly and often create monocultures. Cultivation Often grown as an ornamental plant in gardens, several cultivars are available. A. Tuberosum is distinctive by blooming later than most native or naturalized species of Allium. It is cold hardy to USDA zones 4 to 10, minus 30 to plus 35 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 34 to 2 degrees Celsius. Garlic chives are regarded as easy to grow in many conditions and may spread readily by seeds or can be intentionally propagated by dividing their clumps. A number of varieties have been developed for either improved leaf e.g. shiva or flower stem e.g. production. While the emphasis in Asia has been primarily culinary, in North America the interest has been more as an ornamental. Monstrosum is a giant ornamental cultivar. Topic. Uses Uses have included as ornamental plants, including cut and dried flowers, culinary herbs, and traditional medicine. Garlic chives have been widely cultivated for centuries in East Asia for their culinary value. The flat leaves, the stalks, and immature, unopened flower buds are used as flavoring. Another form is blanched by regrowing after cutting under cover to produce white yellow leaves and a subtler flavor. Topic. China Pronunciation of the Chinese names for A. tuberosum, Jukai vary between Mandarin Chinese and Cantonese, as well as other dialects. 
For instance, the green leaves are Ju Kai, the flower stem Ju Kai Wa, and blanch leaves Ju Huang in Mandarin, but Gao Soi, Kao Choi, Gao Soi Fa, and Gao Wang in Cantonese, respectively. Other renderings include Kuche, Kusai, Kuche, or Kutse. The leaves are used as a flavoring in a similar way to chives, scallions, or garlic, and are included as a stir fry ingredient. In China, they are often used to make dumplings with a combination of egg, shrimp, and pork. They are a common ingredient in Chinese jiaozi dumplings and the Japanese and Korean equivalents. A Chinese flatbread similar to the scallion pancake may be made with garlic chives instead of scallions. Such a pancake is called a jusai bing, jukai bing or jusai yubing. Jukai yubing. Garlic chives are also one of the main ingredients used with yi mine yi fu dishes. Topic: <inaudible> India. <inaudible> In Manipur and other northeastern states of India, it is grown and used as a substitute for garlic and onion in cooking and is known as maroi nakapi in Manipuri. <laughs> Japan In Japan, where the plant is known as nira, ju it is used for both garlic and sweet flavors, in soups and salads, and Japanese Chinese dishes such as gyoza dumplings. Topic Korea, known as buku, buku garlic chives are widely used in Korean cuisine. They can be eaten fresh as namul, pickled as kimchi and jangaji, and pan fried in bukimgae pancake. They are also one of the most common herbs served with gukbap, soup with rice, as well as a common ingredient in mandu dumplings. Topic Nepal. In Nepal, cooks fry a curried vegetable dish of potatoes and a tuberosum known as dunduko sag. Topic: <inaudible> Thailand. In Thailand, they are known as gui chai. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Vietnam. In Vietnam, the leaves of garlic chives, known as he, are cut up into short pieces and used as the only vegetable in a broth with sliced pork kidneys. <inaudible> Kazakhstan In Kazakhstan, where the plant has been introduced through cultivation by Dungan farmers and ties with neighboring China, garlic chives are known by a transliteration of their Mandarin Chinese name, Jutsi. Used in cooking, it is sometimes added as a filling to manti, samsa, yuda, and other typical dishes. <laughs> Gallery <laughs>